This morning, I've returned to the former Warsaw Main Colliery site, or part of it, at Warsaw Vale. I'm after two more wood lice that I've not shown you so far. Armadillidium nasartum and Androniscus dentiger. You'll like Androniscus dentiger because it's bright pink. You might like Armadillidium nasartum. But you'll definitely like the Barbie woodlouse. This morning, I'm out of the forest and on the site to the former Warsaw Main Colliery. Now I've come here for another couple of wood lice. Two special species, one which potentially can be bright barby pink, and the other one is notable for its rarity, although it is proving to be commoner than we originally thought. Now the two species in question are Armadillidium nasartum and the bright pink Androniscus dentiger, which really can be an absolutely stunning species, really a bright barbie pink. When people see photographs of it they're usually quite stunned. Both species are found in stony ground like this, although Androniscus dentiga will be found under pots, under plant pots. I often get them on the yard underneath pots that have been stood for a number of months. But Armadillidium nasartum is a species that has been brought in over the years. It's probably at every garden centre now, but it hasn't been solely imported and introduced by the horticultural trade, because it is a species that you're very likely to find on most disused former pit tops, such as this one. There is potentially another species, but I've only ever found one of them. So, for now, we're just going to have a go for the two. And this kind of stony habitat is just the job, potentially. Right, see what we can find. I am sat on a bank here. So it can be a bit tricky. And one of the two species I'm after seems to be quite restricted, even on this side. It's a little bit further down, typically. Here we go. And here is the first species. This is Armadillidium nasartum. Some individuals are better marked than others. And it's a decent sized species, about the same size as our two common wood lice that you'll find in your garden. So this is Armadillidium nasartum. Now, all of the Armadillidiums can roll in effect into a tight ball. Showed you Armadillidium depressum the other day. And that 
rolls almost into a complete ball. This one's reluctant to ever roll up. I can't ever remember seeing it roll up. Its normal form of defence is to up sticks and run. But it's nicely marked evenly down the length of its back, the upper side, as you can see there. Sort of diffuse stripes. It will move quickly once it's exposed, but not as quick as Androniscus dentica. In fact, this one might settle down here and how it's sort of tucked away just underneath the side of this big chunk of old tarmac. So this is Armadillidium misartum. You will find odd ones under plants in garden centres and under anything else in garden centres. Our first record and the county's first record was from Southwell Garden Centre. I've since found it at a number of other garden centres in Nottinghamshire and on several former pit tops. So that's Armadillidium nasartum. Oh, the glamorous locations of a YouTuber. Here I am, sat at the side of a methane gas plant on the next pit top. Beautiful. But this site has held some, and continues to hold, some excellent species. Some really good inverts have been found on here. At the moment, it's displaying quite a bit of autumn colour. Trees like Sadix capria and what leaves on the silver birches here being a lovely golden yellow. And here is Androniscus dentiger. This is quite a pink individual. I don't know how well this is going to come out on here, but people are always shocked and surprised to see that we have a bright pink woodlouse in the UK. I think people are shocked that there's a bright pink woodlouse at full stop. It's only a small species, gets little more than five millimetres in length, and the coloration and the intensity of the pink coloration can vary. Some individuals can be an almost orangey red, and they're particularly striking, but it's a beautiful species, and I'll put a photo in here while I try and dig this one out. As you can see, it's quite a lively little chap. And then you can see, I know it's darted away, but you can see just how pink this species is. So the only trouble with this species, they never sit still once they're exposed. And there it is. I don't know how well you'll get to see that. There's a little, what looks like an immature Androniscus. It's hard to say there in this bottom left-hand corner. But you get the general idea from that. If I can flick the stone out, you may well see it for a few more seconds. and perched on this bank side, rather like an ibex. In my case, rather like a ruptured ibex. I'm a bit stuck. Here he goes.
たいです。